Hi friends, DK this side. Now the week has ended and every Saturday we do the US stock market weekly analysis to find out the support and resistance for the next week. In S&P 500, Nasdaq 100 and Dow Jones Industrial Average Index. Besides this Saturday video, we come up with two live streaming session on this channel. Live streaming session is Market Pulse. It comes live every Monday and every Thursday. So never forget to join us during the live streaming session every Monday and every Thursday where we cover S&P 500, Dow Jones Industrial Average Index, Nasdaq 100. And in addition to that, we discuss latest in economy and all other major stock market indices world over. You will appreciate the moment we participate in the stock market. It is very important for us to remain updated as to what is happening all over the world. Although the market in the last week has been quite bullish and we have completed the month of November as well. But there has been a loss of upside momentum if you look at the price chart of S&P 500, Dow Jones Industrial Average Index and Nasdaq. I'll explain the moment we go to the price chart. Everything is shaping well. Probably the economy is coming in a normal situation, uh, which was earlier, there was a fear of recession. If you look at the GDP data, US GDP data is quite encouraging. GDP has grown by 5.2% in the third quarter of the current year, even stronger than the first indicated or estimated. So this is a very positive news. If you look at the inflation, so the inflation uh, is a favorite uh, indicator for Fed to take a call for uh, you know, aggressive reduction in the interest rate. So that shows that the inflation rose by 0.2% in the month of October and it was 3.5% from a year ago. So still it is higher by around 1.5% than the target inflation rate of 2% uh, of the Fed. But things are shaping quite well. And the market is uh, being a leading indicator is indicating so. So in this video, we will do the uh, comprehensive analysis of NASDAQ 100, S&P 500 and Dow Jones Industrial Average Index to understand the price action and also to determine the support and resistance area which market might respect in the upcoming week. Friends, do not forget to like the video, subscribe the channel, hit the notification bell for updates. Let's begin. Performance of various indices in the US stock market in the week which has ended on 1st of December. So S&P 500 is up by 0.59%. But there is a loss of upside momentum uh, which I'll explain the moment we go to the price chart. NASDAQ 100 was up by 0.31%. So broader market S&P 500 has outperformed NASDAQ. While Dow Jones Industrial Average Index was up by 0.82%. So among the major US stock market indices, Dow Jones Industrial Average Index was the best performing index in the last week. If we check the market sentiments, fear and greed index with respect to S&P 500 index is currently reading at 67, which means it is in a greed zone. One week ago, we discussed about it and it was at 66. So there has not been much change. This is the market momentum. Market momentum is a measure of the S&P 500 current trade price with respect to simple moving average 125 period. This is simple moving average 125 period. Currently S&P 500 is trading quite higher than simple moving average 125 period which means the market momentum is very, very strong and it is showing 
that the market is in extreme greed zone. If you look at the put call ratio, five days average of put call ratio that is PCR, it is currently below 0.8. It is precisely at 0.78. So it also shows that the market is in extreme greed zone. If we check the market volatility uh, with respect to the VIX versus the 50 day moving average. So currently the volatility is quite less in the market and uh, VIX is below 50 day moving average, which implies that the market is in neutral stage. But broadly combining the various indicators that indicates the fear and greed aspect of the, of the market with respect to S&P 500, market is currently in the greed zone. Let us now move to the price chart to undertake the technical analysis on various US stock market index to understand the price action and to arrive at the support and resistance levels. Friends, do not forget to like the video, subscribe the channel, hit the notification bell. Let us first check the five year break even inflation rate. You know, it has fallen quite sharply. So, it is being a leading indicator to indicate the inflation in future. It is currently at 2.12. So, it looks like the inflation is coming under control. This is the monthly price chart of SP 500 index uh, from the US stock market. Why we are looking at the monthly price chart this time? It is simply because we have completed the month of November very recently. Now, if you look at the overall price action, the market was quite bullish and formed a very strong impulse correction. Price took support at uh, EMA 55. Price struggled to go past uh, EMA 21 and then breakout correction. Price halted at EMA 21 and again going back it is looking to form some kind of cup and handle kind of pattern. If I draw a trend line, I'm drawing a trend line. This trend line indicates that probably this is a continuation chart pattern cup and handle, which is probably is likely to give a breakout in the current month, that is December 2023. And if that happens, what could be the potential target uh, if you look at the long term for S&P 500? So I am projecting this target. The first target arrives at 5,214 and then it has a potential to go up to 5,625. So looking quite robust. Now, if you draw a trend line uh, indicating the long term support level, I am drawing this trend line. Can you see this trend line is so important because the price has taken support here. Price has taken support here. Once again, the price has taken support. And in the previous month, that is in the month of November, it formed the morning star quite in proximity of EMA 21. So it looks like the correction this took place for three months in a row seems to be over. And the now market is ready for an upside move. This is the lifetime high of uh, S&P 500. To be very precise, if I see the lifetime high, it stands at 4,818.62. The moment price goes past this level, then there will be very high possibility that 100% expansion comes at 5,625 where S&P 500 may target. Now let us go to the weekly price chart. If you look at the weekly price chart, it's a pretty strong signal, but there has been a parabolic. If you see the last five weeks, the market has been bullish. Such parabolic rises normally uh, do not sustain. And the price is reaching to the resistance area. This is the consolidation band, which where the price may face some kind of resistance. If I draw a horizontal line to cover this consolidation band, then how it looks? I have drawn this line and I am drawing another line. This is the important line. The important is now the price has reached to the supply area. This area is the price of rejection. Price was facing multiple rejection over here. And now the price has closed above that important area. But it has entered in the supply area. 
So 4,767 seems to be a, a strong resistance area on upside move. However, based on the price action, this level was an area of rejection. Area of rejection, there was a breakout also, but this finally proved to be false breakout and the price corrected quite heavily. So 4,500 becomes a good base in S&P 500. Now let us go to the daily price chart to understand the recent price action. Important to notice, the market structure is very, very strong. Higher highs and higher lows kind of market structure. Very significantly to notice, EMA 21 has crossed over EMA 55 and uh, EMA 55 has crossed over SMA 144. And the slope of all the moving averages, short term or intermediate moving average like SMA 144 is inclining up. It is very important, although the price is reaching to the supply area, what is significantly important is it has formed a rounding kind of pattern. Price rejection, price rejection, price struggled here, gave a breakout and then price consolidated for several days before it gave a breakout of a typical reaccumulation kind of band in the last trading session of the last week. And if you see, during the last trading session of the last week, that is on 1st December, index surged by 0.59%, which is, which is very, very significantly important. So if I calculate the target on the basis of this rounding kind of pattern, the target comes at 4,772 level, which is an area of resistance that we marked on the monthly chart. Where could be the potential support? One is the gap which has been created here. 4,400 is a very, very strong support now, which is also an additional support of a dynamic support like EMA 55. But before that, there is another support. Where is another support? Let me draw one horizontal line. This is an another support. So 4,508 becomes a very important support because it was an area of resistance, area of resistance and consolidation area of resistance. So in the short term basis, this area is very important demand area in a zone of 4,508 to 4,530. Where could be the potential uh, next resistance? So one next resistance is uh, here, where the price got rejected here and the price is quite in proximity of this resistance. Once this resistance is taken out due to the excessive demand and gives a breakout, then possibly next target could be to 4,772. Can we calculate the target based on this is nothing but the bullish flag and is nothing but the continuation chart pattern. If I calculate the target on the basis of this bullish flag kind of pattern, then the uh, probably next immediate target could be to 4,668. So we can conclude that 4,668 might act as a immediate resistance in the forthcoming week. So this zone from 61.8% expansion level to 100% expansion level is likely to act as a resistance area. And precisely this area is in a range of 4,668 to 4,748. So this is all about S&P 500 uh, in the next week. Overall trend is very bullish. Short term trend, intermediate trend, long term trend, all are bullish in this index. Now let us move to the price chart of NASDAQ 100 to undertake the technical analysis. This is the monthly chart of NASDAQ 100. The index in the current month has gone up by 0.31%. Although the current month is not very relevant because only one trading session has taken place. However, it has given a phenomenal return of 10.67% in the month of November which is very significant. And if you see the price action, very strong impulsive wave. It has a tendency to take support at EMA 21 when the trend is strong. And when the correction, major correction takes place, EMA 55 becomes the support. Now the market structure is higher highs and higher lows kind of market structure. Now it is very important to note, if you consider the last month, there is a formation of a morning star. And in fact, the last month candle has engulfed the prior three months bearish move of the market. If I draw a trend line 
it is more or less a breakout of it's a more or less a breakout on closing basis of cup and handle kind of pattern. So if I calculate the target on the basis of this cup and handle pattern, what could be the potential long term target? The first target arrives at 18,750 and then 20,700 plus. So these are the very promising target of uh, NASDAQ 100. Let us go to the weekly price chart. If you look at the weekly price chart, in the last week, there is a loss of upside momentum because the candlestick pattern is a spinning top kind of candlestick pattern. Why this is happening? Because the price has reached to this important supply area, which we have been talking about this area since past so many weeks. So obviously, there will be lack of upside momentum. And price has run up quite fast and uh, in a much less time. And uh, uh, there has been a bullishness in the market for last five weeks. So there will be a loss of upside momentum. But in the process, it has formed the good base. If I draw a horizontal line, this is a very important horizontal line. And I'll draw another horizontal line to mark the demand area. Now, this is the horizontal line. If you see these two levels, which is very, very significantly important is, this is the price rejection, price rejection. So this zone becomes a very important support area. And with the added support of this counter trend line, which is which was earlier acting as a resistance. So uh, 15,500 to 15,755 is a significant demand area in this index. On upside move, where is the potential resistance? This is the lifetime high. Uh, lifetime high is to be very precisely is 16,764.86 is the lifetime high for NASDAQ 100. This area is a potential area of resistance in immediate terms. I am drawing one more horizontal line. So based on the price action, 16,538 to 16,780 is the immediate supply area. Now let us move to the daily price chart to understand the price action further. Let me explain you one more thing. If I draw a trend line, rising trend line, this is a rising trend line, which is very, very important trend line. Why this is important? Because there was a rejection here. There was a rejection here. And the, now this rising trend line, which is almost intervening the uh, resistance area that we just now discussed, uh, will act as a resistance. So potentially this area is likely to have a resistance when upside move is there in NASDAQ 100. Let us go to the daily price chart. In daily price chart, important is to see price was consolidating in a narrow, narrow range for several days. And the last candle, if you see, is a bullish engulfing candle. So market structure is quite strong. EMA 21 has crossed over EMA 55. Uh, EMA 55 is already placed above uh, SMA 144. Slope is inclining up. So these are all the indication that the market strength is very, very good. Where is the major support? This gap will provide a very good support in NASDAQ 100. And this gap is in a zone of 15,500 to 15,755. Is there any intermittent support? Let us check it out. This is the important level of rejection, price rejection, price rejection. So intermittent level of support is at 15,750. And if the price goes below that, uh, I think this zone will be protected by or defended by uh, NASDAQ 100 because there is an existence of EMA 21 as well. If I calculate the short term target based on the prior impulsive day, so what could be the short term target based on the prior impulsive day? The next target comes at around 16,486. Then potentially it has a possibility of going to 17,097 level and where that this trend line is likely to act as a resistance where the price will get rejected. That does not mean that the bear market will begin or a downtrend will begin. Market doesn't go in a straight line upward. So there will be correction in the markup phase, what we call it as a mean reversion. Now let us move to the price chart of Dow Jones Industrial Average Index to undertake the technical analysis. This is the price chart of Dow Jones Industrial Average Index in monthly time frame. In the month of November itself, 
it has surged by 8.77%. And can you see some important breakout can be seen on the price chart. If I draw this horizontal line and if I draw another horizontal line, this was a significant supply band here. This was a very important supply band which stands broken out. And in the process in the month of November 2023, there is a formation of morning star engulfing the past three months bear move of the market. Very, very significant. If I draw a trend line, then there is a breakout of a cup and handle kind of pattern which is a continuation chart pattern. So if I calculate the long-term target of Dow Jones Industrial Average Index, based on this breakout, the next target comes at 40,000 level with a potential to go up to 42,800. So overall things are shaping up quite well. And whenever there is a deeper correction, price takes support at uh, EMA 55. And once the shallow correction takes place, price takes support at EMA 21 which is very, very significantly important. If you look at the prior impulse and combine with this kind of structure, there is a breakout of a bullish flag also, which is a continuation chart pattern. Now let us go to the weekly price chart. What we can see, since past five weeks, market has been rising. There has been a parabolic rise. And this breakout which has taken place of this counter trend line is important. but probably there will be some cooling off effect in the upside move of the market and the market may consolidate. If you look at the price action, price rejection, price rejection, price rejection, price rejection, price rejection. So there is an immediate or intervening support at 35,640 level. And even if some deeper correction takes place, 34,000 will become a very, very important support, uh, 34,800 will become a very important support area because there was a rejection of the price, rejection of the price. So based on the price action, this zone is very significantly important, which might act as a support area. Overall structure is quite bullish. Let us go to the daily price chart. This is the daily price chart, R continuously rising price action. If I little make an adjustment of this horizontal line, what we can see, price rejection, price rejection, earlier this was a support area, price consolidated here and gave a breakout. If I calculate the target of this rounding kind of pattern, which has given a good breakout after three days of consolidation, what could be the potential target of Dow Jones Industrial Average Index? So the next potential target is coming at 36,400. So currently the price is trading at 36,245. So price may very soon get rejected to make a mean reversion in the market. However, the overall structure is bullish. Any correction is a welcome correction for further upside move in the market. So we can finally conclude that 36,400 to 36,500 could be the potentially supply zone in the forthcoming week. However, it has formed a good base at around uh, 35,500 to 35,600 uh, level. This is this area where the price consolidated and then this breakout took place. Overall structure is looking good in this index. Here what we can see, EMA 21 has crossed over EMA 55. Now EMA 55 has crossed over SMA 144 and slopes are turning upside indicating the strength in the market. So overall US stock market is looking little overextended, but the structure of the market is very, very robust, very, very strong uh, in uh, S&P 500, NASDAQ 100 and Dow Jones Industrial Average Index. So friends, what do you think about the US stock market? Will there will be serious correction in the coming days? Or do you think that there will be shallow correction or a time correction in the market? I expect your comment in the comment section of this video. Thank you very much for watching. Looking forward to meet you very, very soon.